<laughs> Not too long ago, I was uh, doing a show and this Irish guy came up, uh, it was from Dublin, Ireland. He says, I've listened to you for the last three hours and you've sung songs from countries all over the world, but you've not sung anything Irish. And I said, oh, well, I'm sorry, I just um, forgot about it. And I said, I'll sing Danny Boy for you. And he says, that's not an Irish song. I said, oh, yes, it is. And he said, oh, no, it's not. He says, that's called Londonderry Air. If you know anything about the, uh, uh, the rift between the Irish and the English way back then, you know that Londonderry Air is not something the Irish really likes. So I said, all right, what's the quintessential Irish song if I were to learn it? And uh, then I said, I'm going to probably mess it up because I'll probably throw some yodeling to it. He said, I don't care as long as you do McNamara's Band. <laughs> so I says, all right, I'll do that one for you. And here it goes. And... Me name is McNamara. I'm the leader of the band. And though we're small in number, we're the finest in the land. Of course, I'm the conductor and I often have to play with all the fine musicians that you read about today. The drums go bang and the cymbals bang and the trumpets all blaze away. McCarthy puffs the old bassoon, Doyle and I the pipes that play. Hennessy, Hennessy, toodles of fruit, and the music is something grand. And I gotta do all the Irish boys and act the Maris band. <laughs> Slang and the trumpets all blaze away. McCarthy puffs the old bassoon and oil and eyes the pipes that play. Hennessy, Hennessy, tunes of food, the music is something grand. And I gotta do all the Irish boys at McNamara's band. You know, Johnny Horton wrote that song. He was one of the greatest songwriters. If he had lived for a long life, he probably would have written a hundred more songs just like it. Of course, I'm going to throw a little yodeling in it. Seattle in the year of 92 With George Brown as partner and his brother Billy too They crossed the Yukon River and found Bonanza gold Beneath the old white mountain just a little southeast of Nome Stand across the majestic mountains to the valleys way below And he talked to his team of huskies as he rushed them through the snow With the northern lights are running wild in the land of the midnight sun Big Sam McCord was a mighty man in the year of 1901. Where the river is mining, nuggets they're finding. Go north to Alaska, go north, the rush is on. Now George turned to Sam with the gold in his hand. Said, Sam, you're a looking and a lonely, lonely man. I trade all the gold that's buried in this land for one small band of gold to place upon my sweet Jenny's hand. Cause a man needs a woman to love him all the time. Remember Sam how hard it is that your love for to find. I'd build a house for Jenny, a honeymoon home, beneath the old white mountain, just a little southeast of Nome, where the river is winding. Targets their fun and go north to Alaska, go north.
like uh, Cajun music? Yeah, you're pretty close to Louisiana. Once in a while I get to go to Lafayette, Louisiana and do a Cajun festival. And so I do some Cajun songs and there's one medley of stuff that I do that I throw in a little bit of uh, Cajun yodeling. And when I sing this, the Cajuns kind of look at me cockeyed and go, hmm, that's pretty good. But most of the time they're so inebriated they have no clue I'm there. <laughs> So ladies and gentlemen, this is what we do down in Louisiana to drive the Cajuns totally crazy. Here we go. Saturday night and the moon is out. I want to head on over to the Twist and Shout. I just step by the the Cajun beat. When it lifts me up, I want to find my feet. Out in the middle of the big dance floor. Hear the fiddle, want to bang for more, want to dance. Bang, there's the end and I. Oh, but ever have a wander down in New Orleans And never have a drifted down a bayou street Heard the music on the radio Swore someday I was gonna go down Highway 10 Plus I'll be yet there's a button rouge that I won't forget Send you a card with my regrets Cause I'm never gonna come back home Saturday night and the moon is out I wanna head on over to the trees and shout The new step partner with the gate to beat And when it lifts me up we're gonna find my feet Out in the middle of the big fence so Hear the fiddle, wanna beg for more, wanna dance, and the Louisiana night. In 18 or 14, we took a little trip along with Colonel Jackson down the mighty Mississippi. Took a little bit and every took a little bit. And we met the British in the town of New Orleans. We fired our guns and the British ship were coming. Was a nice and he was the one to go. do we have in the audience? Hey. Yeah. Hey, I'll run back there, a couple over here. My wife, uh, her family's pretty much all Norwegian. In fact, her last name is Knappus. What does that mean? Knappus means house of buttons. Yeah. And her uh, great-great-grandfather was a famous Norwegian sculptor. So when I go to Norway and take her with, they really love it. They could care less about the yodler. They just want to talk to the great-great-granddaughter of this sculptor. Well, I was there two years ago. I was, we were walking along the fjords and uh, we had a day off and uh, my wife and I came upon this little beautiful uh, Norwegian hut and there was a, mil a guy out there milking his one cow and uh, his wife was on the porch. This was about nine o'clock in the morning and she was knitting on the front porch and then the goat was up on the roof eating the growing grass roof. He was having his breakfast up there. And I was looking down on the, on the, you know, onto the water off the mountains of Norway and I said, don't you guys have any yodeling here in this, in this beautiful country so you can go all the way down the fjords? And they said, oh yeah, sure, you betcha. So he sang me this song and it was called the Norwegian Yodel Mooing Song. Yeah, and it had mooing in it. And so, and all the Norwegians speak perfect English, so I wrote it down and I sang it for the first time at the Puyallup Fair out in the state of Washington. You know where that is? And uh, that's kind of like the state fair of, uh, of Washington. And this little Norwegian lady comes bopping up on stage right after I get done singing it the very first time. She says, you didn't do it right. <laughs> All right, thanks a lot, lady. That was fine. What did I do wrong? She says, well, Norwegian cows don't go moo. I go, all the cows that I know from Idaho go moo. Why, why doesn't Norway go moo? She says, I don't know. But the, the cows in Norway go mooa. So I says, well, I want to do it authentic. And I said, we'll just, we'll just split the difference, okay? 
And this is how it sounded. In my Norwegian town, there are cows all around. In their stalls late at night, hear this, you just might. It's a three octave cow. Yeah. 